the theme of Friday's event, if you will, is really remembrance and resilience. Shanna Cox heads the local Chamber of Commerce and helped organize this week's event. The program itself um, starts with first responders, um, helping us post the colors, an honor guard and a pipe and drum band doing Amazing Grace. Um, and then we start with the reading of the names of the 18 who were killed. I think you're going to see a very touching event that both remembers and honors those who were lost, those who were impacted, those who responded. We were all one community that day, and I think that that's what this event's going to be as well, as we'll be back to being that one community here on Friday. Nick Withy, who helps manage the Colise, says they nearly lost one of their own that night. Former Nordics player and now coach Kyle Secor was shot five times and underwent multiple surgeries before being released from the hospital. The nursing staff and the doctors have been absolutely amazing. I couldn't be more thankful. The amount of support I had and people fighting for me, I, I knew I was going to come out of this. Now one year uh, nearly here, he's made 95% uh, recovery just about. To see him now with a smile on his face every day around the rink um, and, and be behind the bench coaching his team, uh, it's really been something special to see. Survivors, families who lost loved ones, and members of the deaf community will all be a big part of the event. The Colise will also be a place for continued healing with therapists and counselors there helping people deal with the trauma they experienced. The trauma went on for days, was a shared trauma with most of the state.